Hi everyone, my name is Erica, I'm a core maintainer at Astro and Nonvolor, the second of which being the subject of this talk. I'm super excited, but also quite nervous, to be joining this year's VidConf to talk about a big passion of mine, editor tooling. Or more precisely, how Volor can make it easier to implement editor tooling for your framework. Alright, so what is Volor? Volor is a framework for language tooling. Much like a web framework, it allows you to skip a bunch of border plates and parts you kind of don't care about, so you can focus on building features specific to your framework while still having like a good base to work on. It's currently in use by Vue, Astro, MDX, Lynx, and more frameworks are working on adopting it. Before we get more into what makes Valor so great, uh, I would like to do a quick tour of the current status of editor tooling, the current challenges, and why Valor is so interesting in the first place. First, I'm sure everyone is aware, but we have many frameworks, many languages, each of them with different features, each of them with their own syntax. It's a lot. <laughs> One thing they do have in common, however, is that you use them in a code editor, and so you need editor tooling. Need might seem like a strong word, but really nowadays people will expect editor tooling and all related features to work just like they do no matter what kind of files they open. Speaking of which, there's a lot of features to support. Most users will probably be quite happy with just completions and diagnostic, but really people want everything, they will ask for everything and they will create issues on your repo. Those languages also typically embed other languages, such as HTML templates, CSS tags, or maybe you have JavaScript somewhere else. In all of those blocks, users expect editor tooling to work just as great as it does in the rest of the file. As you can expect, there's a lot of work it's a lot of work to implement, it's a lot of work to maintain, especially considering that as important as editor tooling is, it's ultimately a bit of a side quest while you're making your framework. Unfortunately, every framework so far individually implemented their own tooling, with little to sh no code being shared between the different teams. But things are changing. Much like now Vite provides an awesome base to build your framework on, the Vue community came up with the idea of a common framework for editor tooling. And so in January this year, Valor was born. I was, of course, immediately interested in this proposal. And when Johnson, the creator of Valor, came up to me and asked me if I wanted to join the core team, I was very happy to say yes. I immediately started migrating the Astro language server to Valor. And despite the only light documentation back then, it only took about a day or two of work. Not only did this massively reduce the size of the code base, as you can see behind me, it also fixed a lot of our open issues and somehow even added new features. So what makes Valor so great in a way? The best part for me, honestly, is the sheer amount of border plate and overall work that it takes care of for you. I cannot understate it when I say I had a demo of the Astro language server running on Valor with full feature parity in like less than an hour. It was very nice and very easy. Valor abstracts away a lot of technicalities about language servers that really, when you're just trying to make things that work, you kind of don't care about and you don't want to have to care about. For instance, in the Astro language server, it took us many months of work to get TypeScript module resolution to work just like it does inside TypeScript files, and it's not fun to work on. Valor gives you this and many more things just for free. Valor also has first-party integrations for many of the common embedded languages and tools you might have. If you have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, those are like 100% built in, but also if you have JSON, YAML, and many other formats we have built-in services. Uh, same thing for common tool. Maybe you want Emmet completions, maybe you want prettier support or ESLint. We have all of those. All of those are implemented with the same special attention to performance and correctness. So you can expect that for every single one of those formats, it works just as if you've opened a fresh JSON file in your VS Code. Finally, 
Valor is of course open source, MIT license. We again, of course, welcome contributions. And I don't know about you, but I truly believe that if we all work on one framework, we'll get much further than if we all make our own framework on our side. Valor is also useful outside the editor. Um, with ValorKit, we can reuse the code that runs in the editor to implement CLI tools. For instance, you might want a linter or formatter. At Astro, we have an AstroCheck common. It's a CLI linter that people can run locally or in CI. It gives type errors and other kinds of errors. Last year, we also announced Valor Labs. It's a VS Code extension for debugging Valor-based language server. It's editor tooling for the editor tooling framework. Um, it has many features. You can see the state of your language server. You can visualize the memory usage, the virtual files, the mapping. It's very useful. It's very nice. So what's the current status of Valor? Honestly, in my mind, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely already feature rich enough. Case in point, we powered the Vue and the Astro language tooling with it. Um, but still, we can always improve. We're currently working toward our 1.0 release. Uh, we're also working on a new marketing website and new documentation, and we'll have more to share very soon. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about it, you can click the learn more button that should be somewhere below the player. Uh, it's going to lead you to our website or repos and stuff, and you can learn more about Valor. And with that, that's all I had to say. Thank you very much and happy VidConf. Bye bye.